All right, Max, when you, when you first came here to Camp Campbell, it was uh, 1943. Do you remember anything about Clarksville at that time? Got here about 2 o'clock in the morning. Got off the train at, at Clarksville train station. And there was five of us in this group. And we started walking toward town, what we thought. We didn't know anything about it. And the MP stopped us, told us we wasn't, was out after curfew, and we will have to arrest us. And I said, well, we can't help being uh, out this late. We just got here. And we all showed them our, our orders, and we both, all, all five of us had a service ribbon on, and they said, you're not authorized to wear them, you have to take them off. And I said, well, there's only two of you and there's five of us. I don't believe that you're going to take them off of this. And with that, he said, well, find you some place to light and your bus will leave for, for, for Camp Campbell at about five o'clock. So we found a little restaurant that had lights on. It was closed, but it was on the Commerce Street, I believe on the corner of 3rd and Commerce. I'm not for, I'm not quite sure. Anyway, we got the proprietor to open up the place and let us in, and we stayed there, and we used up the remainder of our meal tickets that was given for traveling across the country, and stayed there then. And, and this, that's got away from the question you asked me. I'm okay. sorry. Well, actually, no. That was that's interesting because that that was your introduction to Clarksville, Clarksville, Tennessee. You got here from uh, came from the from the Pacific, and uh, came here to Clarksville, Tennessee. And the first thing that happened is uh, MPs said they were going to arrest you for violating curfew. Right. And and yet you came back here anyway. Oh yeah. <laughs> back then the town was only about ten thousand people. And there was a two-lane road, gravel road, going from Clarksville to Campbell. And I don't remember much how we got out there. I do remember the, all of us getting there and, and the chaos that went on after that. And it just uh, really something. And I said I'd never lived. I'd never come back to Clarksville to live. I was a Colorado boy, and I liked the mountains, I liked the West, and cut out there. But since then, I think I've become a native. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Appreciate it.